Hi, welcome to 5 minute OCI Golden Gate demonstration series. So this is Dennis here. I'm the product manager for Golden Gate for Big Data and also for OCI Golden Gate. So in this session, I'm just going to show you how you can replicate into Confluent Cloud with OCI Golden Gate without schema registry. So let's start. In OCI console, I will click on uh, the hamburger menu to go to the OCI Golden Gate console and select Oracle Database and then select Golden Gate. So this is the OCI Golden Gate console. Here I have the deployments and connections and also deployment backups. So deployments are where we are configuring the replication uh, process and we will access the UI here and connections are used actually uh, for creating the connectivity between your OCI GG deployment and your target connection. So to create connection, we are just going to hit on uh, create connection button. So I provide the name for my connection. So I'm just going to provide as conf Kafka. Select the um, type as Apache Kafka. Okay, so this is the type that we are going to use and click next. And here I have to provide the host and the port details for my target Confluent uh, Kafka environment. So uh, I'm just going to get to the Confluent Cloud console and GGS test is the environment that I'm using. So I'm clicking on that. And here I have two different topics, but I'm going to use an OCI GG demo. So I come to clients and click on set up a new client, select Java. And here it actually shows me the um, uh, configuration. So here I can see the bootstrap server details. So I'm just going to copy the host name, get back to my connection and pass it in the host. And for the port, it is using 9092. So I will pass it into my connection as well. Okay, great. So um, OCI Golden Gate supports all the Kafka protocols. Uh, but Confluent Cloud is using SASL over SSL. So I'm selecting SASL over SSL. Okay, so this is the, uh, the protocol as you can see Confluent Cloud is using. And for the username, I have to provide the cluster API key that I created. And for the password, I have to provide the cluster API secret again that I created in my Confluent Cloud environment. So I get back to my connection provide the username and the password details. Okay, great. So as you can see, there are a couple of more details, optional, but we don't need them. So I'm just going to hit create for creating the connection. And it will take a couple of seconds for OCI GG for creating the, uh, the connection. So I'm just going to refresh my browser. Okay, it is active now. So now I have to assign my connection to my deployment so that I can use it in my replication process. So I select assign deployment, select the name of the deployment from the drop down and hit assign deployment. So it will take another couple of seconds for OCI GG for assigning the deployment. So I'm just going to refresh again. Okay, perfect. Now my connection is assigned to my deployment. So I can configure the replicate. To do that, I get back to my Golden Gate console, OCI Golden Gate console, deployments, click on my deployment name, and in the deployment details, hit launch console. Okay, so it will take me to the web-based user interface of OCI Golden Gate. Here I provide my username and password so that I can log in to the uh, UI. Okay, let's give it and hit sign in. Okay, and now what I need to do is that uh, I need to click on this add replicate icon to start configuring my replicate. So I'm just going to say a classic replicate. Conf uh, rep is the name of my replicate. The trail name that I'm using is a uh, TR. And for testing, we are using actually this uh, trail file. And this is the uh, trail subdirectory that we keep the trail. But for your own trails, you don't need to provide it. So for target, I'm selecting uh, Kafka. And the aliases is Confluent Kafka that we assigned. And this is my mapping. So this is my source and target mapping, but I'm just going to leave it as is. 
So this is the properties configuration. So you can see that uh, the connection OCID that we uh, assigned is automatically populated. So the only thing that we need to do is provide the name of the topic that we want to publish our messages into in the Confluent Cloud site. And as I said, I will be replicating into OCIGG demo topic. So I'm just going to provide the name. And here we have different options, but I'm just going to provide it statically. And um, this is my actually uh, mapping template. So we are going to be using primary keys as the mapping and we are going to use the JSON uh, as the message format. So now I will create uh, the replicate, but not starting it. So it will take for a couple of sec. It will take a couple of seconds for OCIGG to configure the replicate. Okay. Okay, it is not running yet, so I will just minimize my screen because I will bring up my uh, Confluence CLI so that. I can see the messages uh, actually uh, flying. So I'm connecting, uh, I'm connected to my Confluent Kafka Cloud environment, and this is the topic that I'm using. So I'm just like uh, consuming from the OCIGG demo topic right now. So I will get back to my replication and hit start. So it will actually start the replication process. So let's wait for a couple of seconds. Okay, great. So now my replicate is uh, running and you can see that the messages are inserted and they're already in my topic. So I will go to details, statistics. Okay. And I can see that like uh, there are five inserts for uh, two different tables, like uh, some updates and some delete operations. And you can see that those operation types are indicated as op type in my messages so if it's insert it's i if it's update it's u if it's delete it's d and i'm also like uh, we are providing uh, the other details like a uh, source table name or the payload uh, uh, the column names etc and we can actually provide more details with uh, oci golden gate but this is how you can configure your oci golden gate replication for confluent cloud without schema registry with bare minimum requirements so thanks for your time thanks for your um, uh, uh, interest hope to see you in another recording